Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. NFL exec claims Cowboys are tanking to keep QB Dak Prescott. The Dallas Cowboys do not yet have a contract extension for Dak Prescott and one NFL exec believes that's all part of Jerry Jones' plan. Prescott is coming off one of his best NFL seasons, but it appears as if the QB will play the 2024 season without a new deal. In a recent article from The Athletic reporter Mike Sando, an anonymous NFL executive commented on the Cowboys' situation. If the guy wants $60 million a year, you know what we are going to do instead, the exec said. We are going to have an average team, and you are going to play worse and we are going to get you at a better price. That's a wild idea, but it may not be out of the realm of possibility. The ownership may feel that this roster with Prescott and head coach Mike McCarthy may not be serious contenders for a Super Bowl ring in 2024. After the embarrassing playoff exit to the Green Bay Packers, they may have a reason for that. However, purposefully rolling into the last year of a franchise QB's quarterback just to be mediocre and get him on a better deal still feels like putting the cart before the horse. Latest on Dak Prescott contract negotiations. Any hope for a near-future extension took a major blow towards the end of March, as NFL Network insider Ian Rapoport updated fans on the negotiations. Essentially, Dallas hasn't offered a new deal but both sides understand each other. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding, Rapoport wrote on X. Of his contract situation, sources say, with no offers from Dallas despite him being in a contract year. Owner Jerry Jones said, we are where we are, locked and loaded for this year. Considering that Prescott has a no-tag and no-trade clause in his contract, it puts the Cowboys in a precarious position. Not extending him before next offseason means the longtime Cowboys QB has full power to go anywhere. On the other hand, Dallas can see how Prescott does. And if the two sides are understanding, then there should be some flexibility and comfort in their negotiations this regular season or next offseason. Cowboys predicted to trade Trey Lance. Prescott's future in Dallas is a major talking point, but so is the future of backup QB Trey Lance. The former number three overall pick is set to enter his second season in Dallas after being traded by the San Francisco 49ers, but he is now being predicted to move again. Bleacher Report writer Alex Ballantini suggested a trade to the Packers, which would net the Cowboys a fourth-round pick in return. It's at least worth it for the Packers to give the Cowboys a call. At worst, Lance plays out the final year of his contract and leaves in 2025. At best, he shows improvement and either becomes the long-term backup or brings back an even higher pick in a trade down the road, Ballantini wrote. It's always important to have a backup but it's hard seeing Lance giving Packers QB Jordan Love a run for the starting gig. Cowboys' proposed trade sees Dallas acquire two-time champion RB. The Dallas Cowboys could be an ideal landing spot for a two-time champion running back. In a proposed trade put together by fansided's Christopher Klein, the Cowboys would acquire Pittsburgh Steelers running back Najee Harris and a 2025 sixth-round pick in exchange for a 2025 fourth-round pick. The idea of trade is simple the Cowboys don't have a starting running back currently on its roster. After allowing former starter Tony Pollard to walk in free agency, Dallas has a major void to fill. Acquiring Harris, a three-year starter with a Pro Bowl on his resume, would solve that issue. As for Dallas, any semblance of established talent would be nice, writes Klein. Dowdle has been fine in a change of pace role over the last few years, but he is hardly RB1 material. Deuce Vaughn is a fan favorite, but burdening him with extended reps could be a recipe for disaster. Wynagy Harris could be perfect back for Cowboys Harris has started all 51 possible games during his three-year career, ranking among the most durable backs in the NFL. In fact, Harris ranks second among all running backs in carries since entering the league in 2021. To top it all off, Harris was actually a two-time national champion running back at the University of Alabama. While his efficiency hasn't been amazing, he averaged under 4.0 yards per carry during his first two seasons, he has proven he won't get injured and can handle the workload. Furthermore, he's proven capable of not only leading a rushing attack, but by being effective in a committee system.
Backup Jalen Warren averaged 5.3 yards per carry as a complementary back. The Cowboys may not have a starting back currently on its roster, but they have a number of players, Rico Dowdle, Malik Davis or Deuce Vaughn, capable of playing that complementary role. As Klein mentions, Harry can handle a heavy workload. He would essentially replace the role Ezekiel Elliott occupied a couple seasons prior. Harris is a strong, physical runner who can manage a heavy workload, writes Klein. He's definitely still better than Zeke, whose YPC dropped to 3.5 last season. At 26 years old, Harris has eclipsed 1,000 yards rushing in each of his three NFL seasons. He ran for 1,035 yards and eight touchdowns last season, adding an additional 170 yards as a pass catcher. Najee Harris is still on rookie contract, could be short-term rental. Furthermore, Harris wouldn't exactly be an expensive option. The former first-round draft pick is owed $4.2 million for the upcoming season, the 15th highest figure in the NFL among players at his position. It shouldn't take much to pry Najee Harris away from Pittsburgh, writes Klein. The former first-round pick is entering the final year of his contract, worth $4.2 million, with a club option for $6.8 million in 2025. There's a strong chance the Cowboys wouldn't exercise the club option, so even a fourth-round pick could be a little rich. Considering the Cowboys' trepidation when it comes to signing running backs at a high cost, this would be the perfect move from a financial sense for Dallas. They would give up a future day three pick in exchange for a starting running back still on his rookie contract. With that also being said, it's unclear if the Steelers are willing to trade Harris. According to Ray Fittipaldo of Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, he expects Pittsburgh to pick up Harris's fifth-year option. The Cowboys' unwillingness to splurge on running backs, this year's free agency class was filled with quality runners, is a big reason why Dallas finds itself in a position where they're seeking a starting running back heading into the draft. Acquiring Harris from the Steelers would obviously fix that problem. Former Cowboys starter signing with Bills in free agency, report. The Dallas Cowboys have yet to find a proper replacement for Tyron Smith, and now a familiar face is off the table in free agency. While it seemed unlikely that Leo Collins would stick around for the 2024 season, the tackle now has a new home with the Buffalo Bills. Bleacher Report insider Jordan Schultz reported the signing on April 4. Breaking. Free agent O.T. Leo Collins is signing with the hashtag Bills, per source. Collins has started 86 games in seven seasons with the hashtag Cowboys and hashtag Bengals, Schultz wrote on X. Source. It's a one-year deal worth up to $6.25 million for Leo Collins and the Bills. Collins had at least one more suitor, but chose Buffalo with the hopes of winning a Super Bowl. That's a sizable deal for Collins, especially considering he did not make a regular season appearance in the 2023 season. Now, he's joining another AFC contender with the clear intent of winning. As for Dallas, the left tackle position is still a question mark. Tyler Smith could shift to the outside spot after impressing at left guard, but his success as a guard might not be something to disrupt. Collins reunites with Dallas before Bill's deal. The Cowboys turned heads last January by re-signing Collins to their practice squad after his regular season stint with the Bengals. While he did not see the field during the Cowboys' playoff loss to the Green Bay Packers, it was still clear that the two sides are amicable. It makes sense, considering that Collins was a key cog during his initial six-year run with Dallas. He started 71 games over that time and made $67 million over his three contracts. However, Dallas had a plethora of offensive line talent. So entering the 2022 season, the Cowboys attempted to trade Collins before deciding to cut him. That led the former LSU Tiger to the Bengals, where he impressed in his 15 starts. Unfortunately for Collins, a brutal ACL-MCL tear in Week 16 cut his 2022 campaign short and all but wrecked his chances to play in 2023. He recovered enough for Dallas to add him to the practice squad, but it still did not work out for Collins to get on the field. Cowboys urged not to move Tyler Smith. A look around the mock drafts online will tell Cowboys fans that there are plenty of different approaches the team could take. One of them would be drafting another top OT prospect something Dallas has had consistent success in doing. And for OL scout Duke Manyweather, any option that doesn't move Tyler Smith over to tackle is the right one.
The Cowboys shouldn't even consider moving Tyler Smith, Manyweather said on X. It would be a huge mistake for the OL and for Tyler's continued development. He's a special log, I'm not moving a guy who is special at a position to another position he may just be okay at, then have to fill the position he left that he was special at. How does that help your OL? In his second season, Smith was named a second-team All-Pro member and 2023 Pro Bowler.